Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lily and today we are going to be talking about my 2021 Small Other Good or SLG collection. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So what I'd like to share with you today and go in order from the most used SLG to the least used SLG, I'll also share with you the pricing when I purchased it. However, the pricing may of course be different um, at this current moment in time, but I will let you know that so you can decide if this is something you want to invest in uh, based on how I've been using it or how I haven't been using it. Um, so starting out with the most used item in my collection, it is the Louis Vuitton clay. So I actually have uh, two of these, and these are the two clays that I have. Um, and these two, uh, obviously, you know, they are the exact same. The only difference is the color uh, and the pattern. This one is the Damier Graphite, and it's actually in the men's collection. And this one is the uh, very classical monogram version. Uh, for both of these, you know, this one obviously has the beautiful gold hardware. And for the dummy graphite, it has the silver hardware here. And both of them, of course, have that little Louis Vuitton logo here. So for these two, I'm actually currently using this one. I have used this one only once, um, but ended up switching over to this one. I've been using it for probably about a month, two months now every day, and I just absolutely love it. So because I have... Um, a lot of cards in here right now. I'm going to share with you more so this one. I think I actually went over this um, in my Louis Vuitton review, so I'm not going to, you know, go into very much a lot of details. If you're interested in that, that's certainly a video you can review. It's a really, really nifty SLG item, and um, I really like it because obviously, first of all, it's canvas, right? So it's very, very durable. Um, I probably shouldn't speak to this one because I've been using this one more, but if you can take a look, you know, it's still, it's in really, really good condition. I purchased both of these, um, let me see here, in May of 2021, and I purchased these for $270 in USD. I know that they are a little difficult to find on the website, but you know, I actually purchased both of these on the website. This one was more easily available. This one, of course, not as much, but I would advise if you're interested in getting any one of these items, uh, you should look, you know, very late at night, probably 12 a.m., 1 a.m., or very early in the morning, 4 or 5 a.m. Um, I guess, you know, again, it's dependent on where you are in the, in the world, but I have had really good luck. I got this really, really early in the morning. This was kind of just available um, sort of all around. I'm not sure if they have this um, item on the website right now, but everything that I am going to share today, I will link below in the description box so you can also go take a look for yourself. So I really like this because it's so compact, it's so light, and you could really just, you know, use it anywhere. For the one that I'm currently using, the Dami Graphite one, I actually have at least 10 credit cards in there. I have some, you know, um, little gift receipts in there. I also have an Apple AirTag in there to track my, the whereabouts of my little wallet here if I do lose it. I don't use the key functionality of it, but that is certainly an option, um, as you probably are all aware of. You can use this as a key holder, and then you can put your credit cards in here, and just, you know, you're good to go, basically. Uh, so I love this because it's a quick grab and go, and it's so small, so convenient. So to conclude the Louis Vuitton key clay, I just wanted to add really quickly, I mentioned this in my other videos as well, but I also use use this one uh, to supplement this one. And the reason is because this is my main wallet that I use now. I put all my credit cards in here, my driver's license, school ID, all of that stuff. Um, but I need another little wallet basically for receipts. But basically this is lambskin and this one is so affordable. It is I looked it up earlier how much I purchased for and it was $36. That was with the 10% discount code on their website. But I really like this exactly the same as this one. So if you are unsure about whether you wanna, you know, make an investment into the Louis Vuitton clay, which I actually do highly recommend. It's very durable. I've used it a lot and I love it. Um, you certainly have this option for only $36, okay? All right, so next uh, item that's my most used is my Louis Vuitton six key ring holder. Now, I actually have been using this religiously uh, since I got it and I purchased this one. Let me just look down here at my notes so I give you the right information. I purchased the six key ring holder in January of 2020 and I've been using it nonstop until a couple months ago when I started um, changing out my keys and putting them in the Orbit key holder um, just to give this a little rest. So. I've been using it, I would say probably at least a year and a half, and I just love it. It's in really good condition for how much I use it. I don't really baby this thing. Um, and it's just the traditional monogram. You have the 
obvious gold uh, toned hardware here. I do have it embossed with my initials and you have this beautiful gold uh, six key ring holder here. The thing I will say though is that you could cert I can certainly see that there's some little bit of tarnishing and like obviously wear to the metal. I'm not sure if the camera is able to pick it up there, but there's definitely a little wear. But in terms of functionality, in terms of compactness, it is absolutely wonderful. And what's really nice is this back little pocket here, which I actually used to just put my um, a driver's license and if I do need to go to the store I just put a like a one like cash bill uh, or I just put my credit card. I know that there are some folks that have concerns about like the driver's license or whatever cards you put here slipping out. I've never had that issue before. It is very, very like, it's very secure in here. So I really enjoy using it like this. And if I do like, uh, you know, cause I drive an old Acura, um, but so I unfortunately uh, need to use this when I, you know, in the ignition. Um, that's not the best, I would think, probably. That probably contributed to the more wear tear here because I think most folks normally just have the keyless fob, right? And so you don't need to use this as, you know, in the ignition. Um, but I that's how I've been using it. So maybe that's why there's wear and tear. Uh, but, you know, I've used it like that. I've had this closed. I have my driver's license in there and never really ever lost that um, credit card or that driver's license in this back slot. So really, really like this. This does, of course, always come in uh, different colors. They do have it in the... Um, Obviously, the other, what are, I'm sorry, I'm blanking out right now. The other color is called the Azure, although I'm not sure I heard uh, that Louis Vuitton was discontinuing that pattern. I'm not sure. Could be wrong, so don't quote me. Uh, and of course, this one, right? And I think they do have the men's probably collection of the graphite. Um, I'm not sure if they have the Empreinte leather version, but again, I'll just be linking um, this exact same version in the description box below. So really, really love this. Highly recommend. I would say that if you're starting out, definitely consider one of these two. For me personally, I would actually, you know, having used both of them now, I actually uh, do prefer this one a lot more just because I use it as a compact wallet. Um, and if I wanted to put like a house key and a car key on here, it would work perfectly. But the only con is that, you know, if you do stuff this up and you want to put your keys in here, it's going to be a little difficult, right? So if you have an inner lining that's leather uh, in terms of your purse, then probably that isn't the most ideal situation. So this would work better for you. All right. So moving on, just because we have a lot going on and I don't want to bore you with a 30 minute video. Uh, the next most used item in my SLG collection is this adorable mini pochette. This is not a brand new item. I actually purchased this uh, directly from Fashion File. Uh, the other ones I did purchase from the LV website. This one I got from Fashion File because the mini pochette is so difficult to find. So this is uh, with Vivian here and the traditional monogram color uh, pattern is here as well. I got this on Fashion File as um, an excellent condition and when I received it it really looked incredible I didn't see any scratches hardware looks beautiful no tarnishes and the canvas interior and exterior looks really nice I wanted to get the Vivian because I thought it was just so cute of course this is last year's version um, or a couple years I'm sorry I don't remember it's certainly not this year's because they normally come out during Christmas so we're not anywhere near Christmas yet but I love this because obviously you know, it's a very pretty color. You have the like sort of fuchsia uh, leather here. This one in particular is made in France. And then you have uh, the monogram. So I like this a lot because I use it as a catch-all. I know probably everyone is using it as a catch-all. You've probably heard this a lot. But anyways, I think it really, really is fantastic. I love how it's so flexible so you could fit so much in here. It's not very rigid. And it's this beautiful fuchsia um, can you see like the interior? So it's a cloth lined sort of fuchsia interior. It's gorgeous. So I basically put all my lotions, my comb, my aspirin, my dental floss, you know, blotting papers, like all this random knickknacks and some lip gloss, whatever in here. So it's really, really great. Um, this one in particular from Fashion File, I purchased this one in August of 2021 and I got it for $595. So, um, I think it is a little bit more expensive than if you could find it directly on Louis Vuitton website, but of course it didn't have it, you know, there available. So I got on Fashion File. The normal ones, just the monogram or the Azure, uh, the Dami Azure or the um, 
uh, Dami Abin. It is actually only $445, so a lot cheaper than this one. But again, probably there's a price hike because I got it from Fashion File and it's very high in demand right now. Um, there is a leather version. It's an emprunt leather version, same exact one. That's $690. I don't have that one, so I can't speak to it. But from what I've understood, it is more stiff than this one. So I would assume that you wouldn't be able to fit as many items in there. But anyways, I love this. I put this in my smaller bags. I put this in my larger bags. It's a great catch-all. And if you wanted to, you know, use it as a little mini, I guess, I'm not sure. It's kind of kind of tight here. I wouldn't use it like that. But I know that some folks like to put a uh, sort of shoulder um, or crossbody strap around it and then use it like as a crossbody, which I think is really, really cute as well. So, yep, here we go. Next item uh, on my uh, in my collection here is the Saint Laurent card holder. Um, this one is in sort of like a very very dark um, burgundy. I would say I know it's kind of kind of coming off as brown a little bit, but uh, trust me, this is a dark, very very dark burgundy color, um, and it has this gold hardware. It's really really nice. I love it because Saint Laurent. I feel I never have to be careful with their. Um, with their products. They're so like, you could abuse them, could do anything with them, and they're still in really, really great shape. And that's what I really appreciate about Saint Laurent. So for Saint Laurent, this one is the, um, the card holder. I got it for $275 in USD in April of 2020. Um, and I have used it a lot when I first got it, but obviously I'm not using it now because I'm using my LV, key, uh, my LV clay. So this is essentially two card slots on both sides, what, two on the back, two on the front, and then you got this nice middle section here. This section I tend to put cash in, and I tend to put like my cards here. It's certainly very comfortably, and let me just show you really quick with some cards what it can, how much it can fit. I, if I put two here, where right, I'm gonna put two in one slot in the back, and I'm gonna put another two in one slot in the back, it fits fairly well. Now. I would say if you do fit two in the back, you probably just want to fit one here on the front and then another one here. It is getting pretty tight now. So I would say that's kind of the max you would want to do without really having a difficult time prying out these cards. So two, four, five, six, that's six here. And then in the middle, you can certainly still fit some cash, but now it's like a little rigid just because I have so many cards filled up. So Anyways, besides that, I think this is a really nice card holder. If you have a very, very tiny bag and you don't really want to carry too much, it's very beautiful. Um, I love this gold um, hardware here. That It's really good cost per wear in terms of how much I've used it and in terms of, you know, I don't see any tarnishing and I think the quality is uh, certainly there. So Saint Laurent card holder. Now the next item is also Saint Laurent and this is my compact wallet. This one is the... Um, uh, $425 when I purchased it and I got this one in uh, April of 2020. Okay, so I'm sorry, did I misread? This one I got in April of 2021 and this one I got in April of 2020. So if I uh, misspoke earlier, just wanted to correct quickly. Uh, but yeah, this one is in black and this one it has the gold hardware. So again, I obviously, you probably know it's by now, I really, really like gold hardware um, on my accessories. So really nice this one certainly is a lot bigger than that one it's a compact wallet you have a very nice um you know back slot pocket here i used to put receipts here when i was using this i don't use i haven't used this um for quite a bit but i certainly used the heck out of it when i first got it for a few months and then i switched out so when you open it it's just you know it has this beautiful chevron um traditional chevron stripe pattern here and then it's like this so you probably, I don't know if you can see, but basically there's one big compartment in the middle. So great for all your cards or, you know, your change if you wanted to put some there. And then there are two card slots in the front and then two card slots in the back. The St. Laurent has very good quality. I could scratch my nails against it, like, you know, on accident or on purpose as I'm demonstrating right now. And I'm not going to have to worry about, you know, any nicks or any scratches like, you know, the Chanel lambskin bags, right? You got to be really careful when you're using it because you don't want to have scratches all over it. So I could just, you know, really abuse this and it'd be perfectly fine. It just says Saint Laurent Paris here. Um, so certainly really highly recommend this. But so I don't see anything going on here. So really like this um, Saint Laurent one. 
All right, so moving on to the next one, I have here my Chanel Zippy Compact Wallet. It's not the smallest one. Obviously, this is in, you know, a different older style, uh, but this is in the patent leather in black color with the gold um, kind of bronze uh, hardware. This one I got directly from Fashion File, actually, so it was a pre-loved um, item. And this one I got for $625 in April of 2021. Um, this one I mentioned, I shared a little bit in my uh, other Chanel video as well, but so I'm not going to go into details here, but basically, you know, it's like this sort of bronze hardware. And I mentioned previously that it has a little tarnish. It actually came to me like this. I've only used this one time um, and I really like it. I think it's a very, you know, it's a very really chic, you know, wallet and it has a pretty spacious interior. You have the two card slots here and then you have the two card slots here and then you have, you know, just a lot of room here on both sides and then you have the coin uh, accessory. I'm uh, sorry, the coin uh, zipper compartment here if you want to put coins or anything else. I've been thinking a lot about this item just because I really haven't been using it a lot at all for that matter. Hence, it's like, you know, why it's um, further back um, in in this, uh, you know, collection here. So I'm actually thinking about um, just reselling this back to Fashion File just because I think I like smaller, more compact wallets. And granted, this is actually really small already, but I still feel like it's kind of big. Um, and if I were to get another Chanel wallet, I'd probably get a smaller one and I probably would want to get it directly from the boutique. I guess it's just the tarnish here that's really kind of bothering me. So um, yeah, so this one, I've only used it once. Um, I think it's nice, really nice, but probably just not very suitable for my lifestyle currently. So. Chanel Zippy Wallet. This is again another one from Fashion Five, and I just realized this actually kind of matches my top here, huh? Um, this one is the Hermes Calvi card holder. I got this in May of 2021, and I got this for $325. Um, if you get it directly from Hermes, I think it's like maybe only $50 more, but I think uh, this was uh, marked as brand new, and I really like the sort of rouge color of this. I don't think Hermes had it on their website at that time, so I ended up just getting it directly from Fashion File. Okay, I will be very honest. I haven't used this one time at all. And I think I really need to because it's just been sitting in my closet. So I got this after I, you know, saw some other folks doing reviews on the Hermes Calvi and I thought, oh, you know, this is actually a really neat idea. But, you know, I just feel like, I don't know why, I just haven't used it. I probably should switch it now, you know, because I've now that we're talking about this. But anyways, you open it and it's like a little mini envelope. So really cute, cool design. In the middle, it just has the brand stamped Hermes Paris made in France. And then this one in particular is the silver hardware. Uh, so what's really neat about this is that you can put cards on both sides or you could put um, cash on one side and cards on the other side. I'm going to look for my card stack really quickly here. And of course, I put it in my Saint Laurent card holder earlier when I was demoing this to you. So let me just pull that out. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six six uh, cards, you know, here, and I'm going to just show you what it looks like. So I'm just going to slide this in here real quick and notice how there is so much room, so much room. See, I could probably fit another six more cards in here. No problem on this one side. And then you still have the other side. So I think what's really nice about this wallet is that it's so compact. We could probably fit like a good 20, at least 20 cards in here if you really wanted to. Um, it'd still be fine and it would, you know, class really well. I guess the only, um, con i don't know if it's con but for me personally i think it's just kind of annoying like having to like look through it this way or like take all of it out and take all of it in put all of it in you know it's yeah i think that's probably why i haven't been really using it because it just kind of slides out if you have a few cards and i think that's kind of annoying a little bit um but otherwise i think this is a pretty smart idea in terms of maximizing space um and minimizing the actual uh usage area. So really cute Calvi. Um, the next item, again, go to Liso from Fashion File is this one. And I will say this is the prettiest SLG in my collection. This one is the um, Dior saddle card holder. I got it in April of 2021 and I paid 510 USD for this. It is so beautiful. I really wanted the saddle bag at that um, when I purchased this, but I was like, gosh, the saddlebag was like $4,000. I was like, I don't, 
know if that's something I want to pay for because it's not something I will probably use consistently. I need something more toned down. So I got this little card holder instead and I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. It has the classic Dior monogram on here. You have a little back pocket and then you have this beautiful little, you know, gold hardware that says it has the D on it. And when you un but inside this is a fabric outside inside it's leather uh, lined and it's, it just says Christian Dior Paris it has this just one big opening inside there is no card oh sorry there is one there's two card slots on the back and you have one little slot here so this is really nice it's actually so compact and you could certainly you know fit your everyday uh, card essentials in here really cute again guiltily I have not used this at all not even once and it's just because to me, it's more like a collector item. It's just so pretty. I don't want to damage it, um, but I probably should use it, you know, just so it's worth the $510 I paid for it, but it's just so beautiful and I love this item. Um, so yeah, this is the card holder. I can't speak to how functional it is just because, um, again, I haven't used it, but I can see that, you know, this probably isn't going to be as... Um, the wear and tear probably won't be as good as the Louis Vuitton clay just because this is all canvas, right? And then this one is fabric, so I don't know if something could potentially get snagged on it. So yeah, but it's a beautiful, beautiful item, okay? All right, so on to my last item that I have never used <laughs> again. <gasps> actually is from the Louis Vuitton website. So this one I didn't get from a uh, fashion file. This one is the Louis Vuitton Kiragami Pouchette. I got this in May of 2020 and I paid $745 for it. This item uh, is again, a very popular item. So it has been constantly out of stock uh, and I found it online. Again, I would recommend, you know, trying to look you know, early in the morning <laughs> to see if you can snag some of the items that are uh, very popular off the Louis Vuitton website. So Kiragami, this is the biggest one. This is like, I would say this could serve as a pretty nice clutch and even in clutch if you're going out or even like, you know, daytime clutch, it's you know, pretty, you could, you could dress it up, you could dress it down. I love it. And then when you open it, it's this beautiful, uh, you know, blush pink interior. This is leather lined. I just have this little organizer in here, which I'm going to remove and show you the rest of the items. So it, what's, I think this is a really good value for money just because it came with three items for 745. This is the medium size. A lot of folks like to use this as a passport holder, I think, the second one. Um, but you can certainly use it for like lotions and everything else. Um, I haven't used it again, so can't speak to it. But this is this beautiful red leather lined interior. And this is Louis Vuitton Paris, made in France, embossed on all of them. I think you can also customize it with your initials, but I didn't have it done. Um, so anyways. This is the second one. I will say that probably the one that I have used, I would I use don't I use it only once, but I can foresee myself using this item the most just because it acts as a card holder, right? It's so small, it's compact, it can act as a card holder, a little wallet. This one has this beautiful burgundy interior, and um, again, all of them are leather lined. I just think these are so adorable. Like, how cute is this? You know. But I definitely should be using these. I really should so I can, you know, <laughs> feel like I'm not just buying these items and putting them in my closet. But I think it's so cute. <laughs> I did talk about this brand. It's called Barabara. Bera. It's a UK brand. Um, and so this is their wallet that I purchased. I really like this brand just because it's very affordable, first of all. And it's very good quality. Uh, this is genuine uh, calf skin and also this brand uh, produces very vintage looking uh, leather goods so this is their wallet as you can see it's a very vintage looking hardware here you unclasp it Ooh, let me just do that real quick <laughs> and then you open it up and it's a really big wallet so this one I've used when I first purchased it but I haven't been using it just again because this is a much bigger wallet but I really like it it certainly fits a lot there's like a, oops my mistake there are still coins in here and i totally forgot about that so let me just real quickly put that back in uh, but it's a coin holder on the side you have one two three four five six uh card slots here and then you have another area here that you could put like cash or like receipts or anything so really nice wallet again it is a certainly bigger but i 
I have this um, as part of my SLG collection, so I wanted to share it with you quickly as well. This one uh, was 70 pounds, so if you're outside of the UK, I think they do charge for shipping. I forget the actual amount. I think it's like $10, $15. It depends on um, the weight of the item, I believe, and each item is an additional uh, cost. So if you're interested, certainly do look on their website, but just wanted to quickly mention this item as well. So interjecting here really quickly, I finished filming and then I realized I missed one item that's actually one of my most favorite items because it was gifted to me by my father and it was actually my first Louis Vuitton item. So another item, part of my SLG is this long wallet. This is certainly a very big um, SLG. So certainly if you need, you would need a larger bag to house this, but uh, I don't think they manufacture this anymore, but I just wanted to share it with you all if you know this is something you think is interesting and you might want to purchase. I'm sure they probably do have it on the pre-loved market. I apologize, I don't know the name of this specific wallet, but this is in the pattern, um, the uh, Damier uh, Abine, and so this is what it looks like. I really, really love this. It's, um, there's like a little, uh, you know, D-ring thing here. So I guess if you wanted to hook it to the inside of your bag, you could certainly do that. But this wallet basically opens up like that. I did have it embossed with my initials here, but basically um, it's a sort of button closure. Uh, obviously we just saw that. And then it's really nice because it has a lot of card slots. It has six card slots on this side and then six card slots on this side. And then you have an inner pocket here you could put cash or anything and then of course you have another inner pocket here which you could put your um you know larger bills or your receipts or whatnot and what's also really neat is that there's a zip compartment here so uh this zip compartment actually is a leather lined inside um and i used to put my coins in here so um i love this wallet it certainly has a lot of sentimental value to me but it's also very very functional and the last zip compartment is this one here so this one is not leather lined this one is more like canvas lined in here so you could certainly put coins here as well or you could put other knickknacks in here so really love it i actually certainly abuse this item a lot um didn't really know how to take care of my um my my uh my bags and my wallets when i was younger so what i did is that i actually put my phone in here at that time the iphone was a lot smaller it's not the big ones that we have nowadays so it fit in here and then i would close it and so i would use this as like a handbag and a wallet all in one and just carry this everywhere i go um so that's why it's really loose right now uh, but it's still in very good condition and i think in terms of wear and tear i will say that um if you notice here uh this is kind of coming apart now right so maybe i need to bring this in to get it kind of i don't know spot up by uh, leather surgeons or something just because i love this um item it you know has a lot of meaning to me so anyways i've had this and i've used i've had this and used this for about uh what is it over 10 years now right because you know, when i was in college and now it's uh 20 uh 21 so over 10 years i've used it for a good half chunk of that time and it's still in very good condition, except for, of course, the um, sort of opening we saw there that's kind of, you know, detaching the canvas from the top of the outside from the inside lining. So I think we can get that fixed. But overall, I think it's still a really great item. I love the little um, tabs here. It's just so cute. Um, so I don't, again, I'm sorry, I don't know the name of this, but just wanted to share this with you if you do see it and you're interested. Um, that's certainly what I feel. I think it's a great, great item. I think at that time he got it for around five or $600 USD. Um, and this was again, more than 10 years ago. So, uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a really nice item. So I just really wanted to quickly share this, uh, since I forgot to mention it earlier when I was filming. So that concludes my 2021 SLG collection. Uh, I hope that was entertaining to you or insightful if you're able to take anything away from the items I have used. Um, I'm going to link uh, the items, all of them that I've mentioned in the description box below. I'm going to try to see if I can find the ones that um, I purchased from Fashion File. If not, I will just basically put the direct link to the item that I had purchased um, so you can have a feel of, you know, what, it, what it's like, description, all of that. Anyways, I hope you all stay safe, stay happy, stay blessed. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you like this, please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. That would mean a lot to me. Otherwise, I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.